Welcome back everyone. Today with the cold rainy weather we're gonna make some two alarm chili a double batch with some freshly ground beef that I got um two roasts that I um grounded up for fresh meat. So we're gonna get started on this shortly. This is the two alarm chili mix. Be a double batch with freshly ground beef. Okay, we started off with four pounds of freshly ground beef. We got it going into the pot. We're gonna saute it down till it's nice and brown. It's a two alarm chili mix. I'm making a double batch, two boxes. So all the ingredients on a box, I doubled all the ingredients. I'm getting it all sorted out while the meat's um, sauteing down. Me starting to cook down now, I'm starting to brown, so we're gonna keep on browning and stirring until it's all fully cooked. And then uh, I cut up an onion, a bell pepper, a couple stalks of celery. I got all that chopped up. That we're gonna be adding to the meat once it's browned. on stir until it's fully cooked. This is a 90-10 beef roux, so it's going to be very little fat, very little, hardly any at all. Very little fat on these roasts that I use. Just sauteing it on like a medium heat. Not cooking it too fast. Kind of a medium heat saute. Say this is four pounds of freshly ground beef roast. Okay, the meat's all ground, browned, and um. We fixing to add, like I said, a, a onion, a bell pepper, and a celery, and some garlic. We got it all chopped up finely, and we're gonna add that to the ingredients to the meat, where we can get it all uh, incorporated together. With the, um, just cook it down to the onions, celery, and um, bell peppers are pretty much sauteed and cooked down nice and soft. So I'm gonna take a few minutes. Keep on stirring, keeping it well mixed, and from sticking the pot. If you, like I said, there's very little fat in this meat, 
hardly any at all. So just keep on stirring until your vegetables are nicely sauteed. Fixing to add a large can of tomato paste. It's a 32 ounce can of tomato paste. I'm sorry, tomato sauce. And um, I'm adding a 16 ounce can of Rotel tomatoes. And that was another can of stewed tomatoes. Mix that up really well. And I added uh, 32 ounces of water. Get that simmering. A little bit of water that was left in a can. And uh, now we're going to add a 12 ounce can of tomato paste. Go ahead and scrape everything out the can. Don't leave any in there to get it all out. That's a 12 ounce can. Get it all out. We're gonna go ahead and mix that really well. Get it all. Incorporate it together, just stir it up to all the tomato paste and uh, mix well into the sauce. And I pretty much got it. I'm cooking on like a medium, medium high heat. I'm not a high, I'm like a medium high. Keep on stirring it till you get it really mixed well. Pretty mixed well. I got a can of red kidney beans, a can of black beans, and a can of light red kidney beans. All 16 ounce cans. <coughs> I'm gonna mix that in real well. So I said I was one can of dark red kidney beans, one can of light red kidney beans, and one can of black beans. With the juice. Leave the juice that's in the can too. Don't strain them. Just whatever juice is in the cans, you know, incorporate that into the mix also. Okay, got all that mixed well. Get it to start simmering. Now we're going to start mixing the ingredients that comes in the box of the chili mix. You're gonna have chili powder, minced onions, some garlic powder, some oregano, paprika. I'm gonna have all that's gonna be mixed in shortly. That all comes into the box of the mix. Let it 
it saute for just a few minutes, get it simmering. Okay, we'll be adding all the mixtures real soon. Okay, now it's starting to simmer, starting to bubble a little bit. Starting to get a low simmer there. I added just a little more of another cup of water. It was a little thick. So I added about another cup of water at the moment. Okay, now we're gonna start mixing the ingredients from the box. That's the chili powder. pack of minced onions. Get that mixed up. it really well. That's the pack of paprika. Like I say, I'm using two boxes, so there's going to be two packs of each of this ingredients that I'm mixing now, but it's it's actually going to be two packs of each so they're making a double batch of the box and that's the chili powder from the other box it's a little bit different color I'm using two two different um, chili mixes this is a little bit lighter color than the um, one from the first box This is the pack of oregano. Go ahead and mix that really well. Get everything mixed well and incorporated together and just keep it on a low simmer. We'll be adding the mesa powder a little bit later on into the cook. To get this cooked good, then I will be adding the mesa powder last, which thickens up the sauce. Okay. I'm adding a little bit more of garlic. I'm adding two more tablespoons of granulated garlic. Two more tablespoons of chili powder. Okay, we'll go ahead and get that mixed up really well. Get everything incorporated really well. Just keep it on a low simmer. Makes it good. Just mix it. Keep on mixing. Get everything mixed good together. 
Now I'm adding two tablespoons of salt. You can salt it to taste. So you want to add a little bit more, a little bit less, that'll be up to you. But I'm putting about two tablespoons. And I'm adding two tablespoons of Texas Pete's hot sauce. That's another thing. If you like it really hot, you could add more. If you like it a little more milder, you could add a little bit less. So, but even with this, it's not going to be too spicy with the two tablespoons. It's pretty much just right. Got a little spice, and then uh, that's a little more chili powder mix. Just a little extra chili on um, chili mix. It's about two more tablespoons uh, that I'm adding to give it a little more ch chili flavor. Mix it really, really well. And just keep it on a very low simmer through the whole process keep it on a low simmer the key is to just get all your ingredients mixed together really well That's the mesa powder. That's going to thicken up the sauce. You could add as much or as little as you like. I'm, I'm using it with, instead of mixing it with water, I use chicken stock. I'm using one cup of chicken stock. And I'm going to take the mesa powder and mix it in the chicken stock. I'm going to use the whole pack because uh, for the double batch, it should thicken it up just about right. I'm going to use the whole pack that came in the box with the mix with one cup of chicken stock. Mix it really well and then we're going to go ahead and incorporate it into the sauce. Mix it really well. Make sure all the dry lumps and particles are broken up and mixed up. And okay, now we're gonna go ahead and slowly pour it in, incorporate it into the sauce, and mix it really, really well. get it mixed well then we're gonna um, put it on really low heat and then we're gonna um, let it simmer on very low heat for about 30 minutes okay we are back it's been 30 minutes it's been simmering on low heat for 30 minutes I'm gonna take a peek at it. There she is, folks. Look how it thickened up. Nice, consistent sauce. Just the right thickness. Looking good, looking really good. And that's it, folks. That's the two alarm chili mix. A double batch on a cold, rainy day. Stay inside and keep warm and enjoy some chili. There she is. Little crackers and cheese on top. <laughs>